Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna go over the best weapons available in Undone right now. As you guys know, the level 50 on global servers is gonna hit in the next few hours. So I just wanted to kind of make a video breaking it down and tell you guys what I think are the best uh, weapons right now available in Undone that you can use for PvP and both PvE as well. So for the first weapon in the list and the best weapon, in my opinion, is gonna be HK416. So this is gonna be on the S tier for me. This weapon is probably the best rifle right now in the game just because of the fact how it does a bunch of damage and also it has kind of like no recall the moment you put a hollow side or like a red dot on this weapon you're going to be able to melt people in close and long distance actually there is like barely any kick to it so if you guys have aim assist if you're playing on mobile or if you're on pc as long as you keep your crosshair on that person the aim assist is going to kick in and it's going to help you just melt down people with one clip which is amazing so i really like this rifle because of that going down the list to the second one is going to be ak-47 this is also on the same tier as me this is going to be on the s tier just because of the fact ak-47 does do a little bit more damage than the hk416 but there's a lot of kick to it. it this weapon is going to get worse and worse the more you shoot it so if you hold down like on the button and keep shooting the recoil and the spray pattern is going to go crazy so if you're re really good at controlling that i think if you're like a pc player you're going to be able to you know pull down your mouse a little bit and uh, you know control that recoil then this weapon is probably the weapon you should go for so that's why i'm putting it on the second but yeah hk ak-47 same level as hk416 it's just that it does a lot of more damage. You just need to control the recall. And on HK416, you don't need to. Going to the third weapon off the list is going to be the Scar Assault Rifle. This is going to be on the A tier for me. Just because this weapon is kind of like a mixture of both the AK-47 and HK416. The damage is not too bad. But, you know, the recoil and just like, you know, taking long finds with these guns is really hard. But again, close distance, this weapon is crazy. You are able to melt people. You are able to do a lot of cool kills as you guys can see in the clips i have in the back running using this weapon so again it comes down to how you guys like it if you want a mixture of both hk416 and ak47 you could pick up this scar and just do pretty well with it as well and it has a like a lot of fire rate so it's really fast shooting so it's if you're good at aiming and if you are able to like you know close down the distance and shoot this rifle at someone you're going to be able to melt them a lot easier than a HK416 or AK47. Going to the B tier and the fourth weapon of the list is going to be the MPX submachine gun. So this submachine gun again is on the B tier due to the fact that you are not able to fight people in the mid or like long range. You have to get really close to them. So if you guys, you know, you're gifted and you know how to move around the map and how to use your energy dash around which costs a lot of food by the way, it costs a lot of energy, it costs a lot of food. So if you're able to do that and you like going around, jumping around, bunny hopping, you can use this submachine gun. It's a really good gun to like take on four to like, I don't know, three to four people actually. Like I have a clip right here. I was able to down a lot of people and do a lot of damage. So submachine gun is going to be your gun if you like to kind of just not aim down sight. So for the rifles, you need to kind of scope in aim down sight with a hollow sight or like a red dot to kind of just melt down people for this weapon you just don't need to you just hip fire run around and shoot people so this is going to be the gun that you would like to use going to the c tier is going to be the r700 sniper rifle and the only reason this gun is in the c tier is because the magazine size so there's only seven bullets in it you could obviously increase it with like increasing your gun level and all that stuff but the rate of fire is pretty low you have to reload the gun every few seconds and then also the damage is just not enough you do 900 to around 1200 damage on the sniper rifle when you can just have a heavy sniper and do from like 2000 to like 4000 damage so i don't see anyone picking this weapon up as a primary weapon i'd rather have a rifle or a machine gun going to d tier is going to be obviously the m3 shotgun this shotgun you know i see a lot of people being hyped about shotguns doing a lot of damage and all this and that it doesn't do it guys like you need to be really steady actually when you shoot the shotgun so all the pallets go to, into the same place so i don't recommend it again if you're good at moving around and just you know at the last second just being very steady not moving and just like one pumping someone in the chest or killing them you know you're not going to be able to use this gun so i don't recommend it if you guys want to pick it up for you know killing zombies that are coming at you in a line or you know just doing the missions okay shotgun is fine but i do not recommend in a pvp 
but yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed this video i just wanted to kind of make it really fast because again um the level 50 is coming out in the next few hours and a lot of people i know are going to get into making weapons and armor for the upcoming level 50 which is pretty big but yeah hope y'all enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below and also subscribe so i can make more content and i know that you guys like these type of videos but yeah if you have any questions make sure to comment down below and i'll see you guys next time peace out